Cloning is a process involving creating identical genetical copies of organisms or cells. This process involves replicating the DNA of an original organism or cell to produce a genetically identical copy. Cloning has been a topic of much debate and controversy since the first successful cloning of an animal, a sheep called Dolly, in 1996. Our particular focus is the cloning of non-agricultural animals, which refers to the cloning of animals for purposes other than food, production or breeding, such as scientific research, medical applications and conservation efforts. While cloning non-agricultural animals may help study diseases, developing treatments and pre preserving endangered species, the potential applications of cloning also raise ethical, moral, legal and economic questions. There are two main methods of cloning non-agricultural animals. This includes somatic cell nuclear transfer and artificial embryo cloning. Somatic cell nuclear transfer is the method of creating an embryo with the same genetic material as an adult organism. This process involves transferring the nucleus of a somatic cell, a non-reproductive cell, such as the skin cell, into a nucleated egg cell. This method has been used in numerous animals, such as the sheep and mice. However, it is prohibited in many countries due to ethical concerns. Artificial embryo twinning is when an early stage embryo is split into two or more parts, producing genetically identical organisms. This process begins with the fertilization of an egg cell, which results in a zygote. The zygote then divides and develops into an early stage embryo, which is when it is separated into two or more parts. The different parts are then implanted into a surrogate mother, which produce multiple genetically identical babies. The difference between this method and somatic cell nuclear transfer is that somatic cell nuclear transfer is asexual cloning, while this method is sexual cloning. Another concept associated with cloning is DNA sequencing. DNA sequencing allows us to verify the identity and accuracy of a cloned DNA fragment. This is important as errors in the cloning process can cause mutations which would affect the function of the cloned DNA fragment. Once the DNA has been sequenced and verified, then it is inserted into a vector that is inserted into a host cell which produces larger quantities of this DNA sequence. This method allows researchers and scientists to clone DNA sequences more effectively and accurately. Genome editing is also another concept which could be associated with cloning. Genome editing is used to create a clone with specific traits, and it involves editing the DNA sequencing of an organism's genome. This could be used to fix a mutation in someone's DNA to cure a particular disease or a certain defect. This concept could also be used in cloning endangered species to give them more desirable traits, thus protecting them. There are many reasons why someone will clone a non-agricultural animal. The main applications of this technology include for research purposes and personal needs. Clone animals could be used for medical research, such as testing for diseases and developing treatment. This could make the research process a lot more efficient and effective, as it wouldn't be difficult to find an animal with the same DNA sequence. Cloning animals could also be used for conservation and reproduction purposes. This could help to preserve extremely rare or endangered animals, preventing them from becoming extinct. In addition, cloning also allows pet owners to clone their beloved pets as a method of keeping their memories alive. And beneficial to technology may be there are numerous legal, financial, and ethical issues raised by it. Legal issues include if this technology was acquired by criminal organizations who could use it for illegal financial gains. Cloning animals has also raised other legal questions, such as the rights which the cloned animal has. Does it have the same legal status as a normal animal? There will be need to numerous guidelines developing for cloning if it was to be used by the public. In addition to legal issues, financial problems might also be created. Uh, due to cloning. For example, the cost of cloning animals is extremely high, meaning that it isn't quite accessible. In the Daily Mail, it was stated that cloning a dog can cost around 70,000 Australian dollars. The part about this technology is the ethical issues. To begin with, the actual process fails 80% of the time, as four dead animals for every one that succeeds. Not only that, a large quantity of the living offspring also has some sort of defect. Were purposefully cloning animals, knowing that it would most likely cause death or suffering in the cloned animal, be ethical? In the case of Dolly the Sheep, there were 277 times failed attempts before the scientists successfully created it. An extreme example is comparing this to making a human and killing it 277 times. Furthermore, there will be more ecological issues which comes with cloning as well. If everything goes well with the animal and it is cloned successfully and released into the wild, it would cause imbalance to the ecosystem it is released into.
This would mean the disruption of food chains, thus calling certain other species to be endangered. We came into the Northern Range as Yellowstone was designated a park and changed a lot of things. So wolves, coyotes, mountain lions, bears to some degree were all being removed in vast numbers. Wolves were eliminated by people directly in the early part of the 20th century. So what happens when you kill off the predators? Well, the prey increases to very high levels and starts to impact the environment. And by doing that, the elk herd shot up and no one really knows how high they shot up. 20, 30,000 was the estimated figure. And they were degrading the environment. Our policy on helping restore nature is fairly clear. If humans did it, we'll help the system get back on the right track. So what was missing were all these carnivores. And so they were not performing their ecological function. We've been able to clone human embryos for about seven years. But as far as we know, no one's actually cloned a whole person. Turns out ethics aren't the only thing holding scientists back. Cloning isn't the sci-fi marvel we think it is. It can be dangerous, often ineffective, and most of all, we just haven't thought of a good enough reason to do it. So here's why you'll probably never have to fight your evil clone. This is Dolly. Just kidding, that's a regular sheep. This is Dolly, the first mammal cloned successfully from an adult cell. She was born in 1996 after scientists figured out how to remove the DNA from the egg cell of a Scottish ah. blackface sheep and basically replace it with the DNA of a mammary cell from a Finn Dorset sheep. They gave it a little electric shock to fuse the cell and get it replicating, place the cells in the uterus of another sheep, and boom, clone. This method, called reproductive cloning, could theoretically be used on humans. But this is a best case scenario. It took 277 tries for the scientists to get one dolly. Nowadays, cloning mammals generally has a success rate of about 10 to 20 percent, better than one in 277, but still a majorly inefficient process. Technically, it's not difficult to produce cloning embryos, but human cloning has other hurdles that uh, need to be considered. To even research human cloning, scientists would need to ethically collect a large amount of donated eggs and find enough surrogates to carry them. But even if they made it through that logistical nightmare, the biggest issue is this. They're gonna hurt the baby, or they're gonna hurt the person carrying the clone fetus. Across the board, scientists have found that some embryos expire before they're implanted, others result in miscarriages, and those that make it to term often die soon after birth or end up with severe abnormalities. Simply, these are risks that are easier to take when it comes to experimenting with sheep than with people. But arguably the biggest reason we haven't cloned a human being? There's not a good enough reason to. In pop culture, cloning is used to bring people back from the dead. But that's not how it works. Cloning someone would only create a twin, not a replica, since identical twins have the same genetics, but not necessarily.